Are you frozen or you just... <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. No, I do. Just quitting all the stuff because my thing is really hot right now. And I want to... That's what she said. Freak out on me. Alright. Um, Alright, so, so camera's rolling. And... Uh... Action. Slightly ashamed of this project, and I don't want it to be affiliated too much with, with the studio. What? Why? I don't What's know. What's stupid? Like, like give you a blowjob? Like being yourself. I'm being up for not putting my faith in somebody who doesn't deserve it. No. How about you Email oh, me. God. Yes. Please, Please. and thank Please. you. Holly or Hall. You are listening to the Friends with Issues podcast, where no topic is too inappropriate. <laughs> Strap in and don't be a bitch. <laughs> the views and opinions expressed by the Friends with Issues podcast are not reflect that of the CDC, any hospital <laughs> system, the coronavirus in general, COVID nineteen variation, any conspiracy theories out there, or anything, 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 anything that can harm you, immune system. Thank you. <laughs> your your what system? Your what system? Your what system? Uh, immunal system? I think you said... I, never what mind. did I say? What did you think I said? <laughs> it was something really funny. No, I said immune Whatever. system. Thank you very much. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You Thank said you. Im Im immunal or something like that. I got your immunal right here. All uh, right. We are back, and it only took a pandemic to get to bring us together, but not together <laughs> at all at the same time, because we are practicing social distancing here on the Friends with Issues podcast, the coronavirus special. We're going to discuss... What COVID nineteen is, its impacts, what we really think is going on, and what you think might be going on, and while Halls is going through a midlife crisis, I'm Vibe, <laughs> and I'm Halls, and Halls. Um, we haven't done a podcast in nine months since the uh, the delicious part two to our Valentine's Day special, which is almost a. a year I was heartbroken. Ago. I was very heartbroken. Because of what? You didn't get me anything for Valentine's Day. I, yes, I did. What'd oh my god! Oh god! I have something. I did get you some. Well, I got you some this year for Valentine's Day. You did. And I I'm did. Very I proud. did. I want to show it on the screen, but I don't. I don't have it. Offspring. Oh. Can you go upstairs and go and get that book? That's on um, that little comic book that's on my um, what's it called? Book stand and hand it to me quickly. Run up there fast. Hurry it up. So I gotta show it to you guys. You know, even though. It means absolutely nothing to this episode. I'm gonna show. I'm not gonna open it, but I'm gonna show you the outside of it. And if you want to see uh, excerpts from this book that I got, Halls, you, you have to love me. You have to email you love us. Me. Friends with issues. That's with, that's with a Z. Thank you very much. Friends Thank with you. That's R. Sorry, F R I E N D Z <laughs> with friend with issues. I S S U E Z at gmail.com and uh if you want it we will send it a little bit of it just a little bit but this is look at it right here it says happy valentine's day love asshole aka the girth i've had it for so long there's dust on top of the on top of the the the, the, the plastic jacket so if you, you look just closely got it like a week ago no it's not a week ago so you see here that's that's the cartoon characters a different version of the cartoon characters of of halls and i if you look really i love it it's really awesome it it the don't let don't let the sweetness fool you. It's it's quite funny. It's quite fetching. So uh, if you want to see excerpts of this brilliant book that Halls will not get until I get cleared for COVID nineteen, then you will mm -hmm. um you will uh you know watch excerpts. me watch me have it and come over and <laughs> give it to you. Oh listen, I could use fourteen days off of work. I'm just saying. So um all right, so COVID nineteen, which mm -hmm. is actually stands for Corona. Virus disease 2019. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yes, COVID. The CO is from Corona. The VI is from um, virus, and the D is from disease. And dash 19 is 2019. COVID 19 is coronavirus disease. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. I, I got that information from the CDC website, cdc.gov. Check it out. As you can tell, uh, I'm actually going to go on it right now and give you some figures because we are in a state like. To me. Give me facts, in, baby. Give it to me. This is disease control. Hold on. Uh, because it tells us... Can I, show, can I show you what I got you for 
for Christmas? You got me. Something. It's 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 March. You know that, right? You do I need to go in there and shut your door, woman? Who are you talking to? My mother. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay. No, so. but but I kept forgetting to give it to you. Oh, you know what? You have nerve to, to talk. Give it to me. You I, have I, nerve I, to talk. I, Remember I, last I, Christmas, the Christmas before? Oh, that it took you a full year it, to get this. Yeah, no. That was not up, hold on. Two, that wasn't up to me. That wasn't up to me. I, I, I was up to the friend who was doing it. And, and he took a year to do it, you know, and he had issues, you know. Hold on. So, yeah. hold on. What do you like? Who's that? He, he said it. Dad. It's dad. 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 <laughs> Hi, Travis. Hi, hold Travis. on. Here. He can't hear you. Hold on. Here. Give me your ear. Hi. Hi, Travis. Hey, hi, Boy, Jason. Oh. What are you doing? Here, he wants both. Hold on. You want both? Real quickly. I know. Come on. I'm doing stuff. Podcasting, podcasting. Hey. Travis hey, hi, is a butterball, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been hey, seeing my now? <laughs> hi, son. How are you? Okay, bye. Go do stuff. Go hi, save the world. Travis. Yeah, go save the world. Or go bother Nana. He's built like a linebacker. I know. He- um, so anyway, so back to COVID-19. COVID-19 U.S. at a glance. Total cases in the U.S., 68,440 cases. Isn't that more than China, I heard? Uh, I think we're leading now, yes. The, Yay! Total, so far, total deaths, 994. Um, and it's been reported in all in, in, in all 50 states, the District of Colombia, Puerto Rico, Guam, and U.S. Virgin Islands, so all the, all the territories. So travel-related is 633. Close contact is is one thousand seventy four, and under investigation is sixty six thousand seven thirty, which means they don't know where they got it from or how they contracted it. That's where we are right now. The hell on earth is happening right now in New York, as New York has has reported thirty two thousand nine hundred sixty six cases. New York is 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 like ground zero all over again. Now for us here in Florida, we've only got a modest. 1,861 cases, 41% of them being in Broward, which is our area. So, you know, this is what's going on right now in the world. Like, like it's 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 off the chazane. So, what do you... Let's be real. The coronavirus isn't new. This is just a new variation of that virus. This is a, so, it's a mutation, and apparently it originally struck, you know, hard at the very young, the immunodeficient, and the old people. Uh, senior, sorry, the senior citizen population. Excuse me, um, but now it's beginning to hit hard on 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 everybody now. Uh, there's there's younger and younger deaths apparently, and it's becoming uh, a real issue in some people's minds. How's what is your take on the coronavirus? Twenty nineteen. Um, I have an angry child. What? Huh? I I have I, I come here. He's going to go destroy the room. He's going to destroy He's going to destroy my life. Come here. I don't understand. Travis. No, look, I understand right, that part. Okay, look, baby. Right up there. Right up there. Okay, give me 2.2 seconds. Hold on. Here. The coronavirus. Oh, God. Okay, so the coronavirus <laughs> from the CDC, it says if you're sick, no. uh, what to do Sorry. if you're sick. Okay. It says... Maybe Stay what? home except to get Don't medical care. It. Stay home. Most people with, with, with COVID-19 have mild Ill- illness and are able to recover at home without medical care. Do not leave your home except to get medical care. Do not visit public areas. Stay in touch with your doctor. Call before you get medical care. I'm sorry. Be sure to get care uh, if you have trouble breathing or any other emergency warning signs. And that is what they're telling you right now about, about corona. Now, I'm going to play a clip from somebody uh, in the... It was sent to us in a, in a group chat about a guy who claims to, to be to be um, test positive. And this is what he was saying. Is this something you know? Oh. No. Okay. Definitely tested positive for coronavirus. Definitely was asked to self quarantine for fourteen days, fourteen to twenty one days. I'm asymptomatic. My throat's a little itchy, but closely where he is. Other than that, I'm not coughing. 
I feel great. Nah, I ain't no toilet paper. I just looked. Yes, he's in a supermarket. Um, they say it's highly contagious and not even in public. Yep. Obviously, I'm in Walmart. Because I got to eat too. So y'all just got to deal with it. If I got That's- it, y'all can get it too. Fuck all y'all. That's how I feel about it. I need some orange juice. Need some good old vitamin C. I need some orange juice. Yeah, it's real. What up, John? What up, John? Can he get arrested? So I've been to a local diner this morning. I'm in Walmart now. I'm gonna go check out Sam's Club in Concord. Uh, Is this real? Is this guy serious? I've been to Tractor Supply to get dog food. I am positive for COVID nineteen, going... he... and it's not gonna stop me from living my everyday life. Mm-hmm. I'm asymptomatic. So, if you old, if you sick, if you immunocompromised, I suggest you stay home. Oh, it's not the- for the old, it's not for the weak. You ain't got to like it. Mm-hmm. It is what it is, though. I'm not for nobody. Mm-hmm. That's it. So okay. I got that. So they, you're telling me that nobody else is allowed to eat because they shouldn't get it, but he can. Please tell me they know who this dude is. Well, I don't know if they know who this dude is. I don't. I, I, but he seems serious. He's walking through Walmart while, while he's saying this. But what I'm saying though is what he's saying is he's asymptomatic. He shouldn't be forced to stay inside. If you're sick and you know you can get it, you need to stay. You say your ass inside, and I'm gonna live my life. That's what he's saying. That's Ooh, a douchebag. Move. Is it? Is it? Is it really? It is. You have it. You got it. To stop spreading this, so we continue on our lives. You need to stay the f home. You have to stay home. Don't tell me that dude don't have no friends. He should stay home. Right, and I, I and I and I totally agree based upon the, what the medical experts say. But at the same time. I kind of see where he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to get if you don't want to get it, you shouldn't be outside. If you don't want to get it, you should stay inside. If you don't want to get it, you should quarantine. I, I kind of get where he's, where he's coming from. But And they are. But I you... Kinda, okay, but you as a dude, knowing you shouldn't be going, well, I'm going to go to Sam's. I'm going to go to here. I get that you need to eat. Cover your mouth up. Do what you have to do so you don't spread it and just go. I agree. I agree. He could have put on a mask. Uh, and he didn't. He wasn't wearing a mask. He was. He was. You know, he's got some grills on. He's wearing a baseball cap. But at the same time, I, I, I don't necessarily agree with him. And I, I don't. I wouldn't say I do that myself. But what I am saying though is that I, I kind of feel him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he's just like, yo, you know, if you're concerned about it, stay your ass at home. I'm not concerned about it. Whether whether spreading it or getting it, I'm gonna go out and do my do my thing. Because I'm not gonna be told, that, you know, I gotta be sick. It's not, it's not my fault that I have that I have Corona. I'm not my fault that I have COVID. You know, but if okay, gotta... how do you think? How do you think he would feel if he heard that and he was at home and he was an older person or had some kind of underlying Which issue? Which is funny. That's what the friends that that it was chat said. You know, beyond the fact that they wanted to fuck him up, um, that they said, well, you know, well, actually, one of the comments from from the friends was like, I hope that all of his family members get COVID from him, that they all die and he has to live with it. That's how angry they were about about this 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 ignorance that they call so it. Your, your people. Yeah, yeah, that was that wasn't a good chat. I mean, I don't want to shit anybody dead. No, of, that, of course not. You of know, course not. But you know what? Like, I I I feel that if you had said all this, mm-hmm. it is the tone of his voice, but the way he is though. acting. But I, that makes him a douche. If you if you went on there and was like, oh, listen, you know, I'm still gonna go out. Like, it is his tone. He doesn't care, and I feel like. He wants everybody. He doesn't care if you die. He could care less. See, it doesn't matter. I don't think he's doing it maliciously. Because if he was being malicious, he'd be coughing everywhere. He'd be licking things. Like if he's if he's going out there saying, you know what, I'm gonna spread this around. You know, I don't fuck all y'all. I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna get let well, you all. That's what he's sick. doing just by walking around and talking. Correct. Correct. That is very true. But but he's being he's being ignorant and he's being um, inconsiderate to people. But he's not being malicious. There's a difference. He's saying, I'm gonna live my life. I'm not gonna be stuck at home. 
I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? If you always don't want to catch it, you shouldn't be out there. But if you're saying, I want all of you guys to catch it, I'm going to come out here and cough on everybody, I'm going to lick things, I'm going to rub up on everything, that's malicious. He's just being inconsiderate. Give him a week. Give him a week. Huh? You never know. My, his video might pop up again. Well, we're working basically based on, on the video that we saw oh, right Lord, now. So and, right, and, for, and, for, and for right now, you know, and so, I mean, I did not consider that. You know what it means to for, for those who are who are test positive and, and and being told you're forced to like me. I love it. I, I demand it. I yearn for it. But some people can't. Won't be feeling that. Some people won't, won't enjoy being stuck at home for 14 days minimum, self quarantine. You know what I'm trying to say? So, I mean, do you think yeah. Can do something about that if they see Ooh. that video. Ooh. Can the government do something about it? Government. He's probably going to be arrested soon because you think there was. So? Oh, I listened. There was one. There was one kid. Um, in uh, there was an article I read, and he he said, "Who's afraid of Corona?" And he starts licking, um, uh, deodorant. Not not the inside, but like the outside of the deodorant. And he posted it on Facebook. He got arrested. They arrested him, and they arrested him for um terrorist threats. That's what he was arrested for. Because people can die from this. Like he was, he was he was arrested and charged with terrorist threat. So is this is is home slice right here gonna gonna get arrested? Absolutely. Is he already arrested? Probably. There's no way. You know. Well, first they're gonna verify that he actually is positive. But even if he isn't positive, um, they're still gonna arrest him with something because you're still you're still inciting. It's like yelling fire in a, in a um in in a in a movie theater. You can't do that. It's illegal as well. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. I was think planning on doing that. Um, yeah. where where was this? Is it, this is a video of him? Right. You could see mm -hmm. him in public. Where mm -hmm. was this posted? Um, I don't know. I mean, I know that on the video itself, the video itself um, had a, it's, um, it's called Lit, Lit, Little Mob TV. So two L's, I-T-T-M-O-B TV. So I think it's just like a site, that an aggregate site that just finds clips and posts it. So um, and when so did they find this? When did they find this video? I don't know. It was sent to me today, 7-Eleven. Is when I is when I um is when I got the uh the the, the post for it. So you know. I would love to see I would love to like follow up with this to see if he gets arrested because I would be so happy. Oh I'm sure. I'm absolutely I'm absolutely sure that one that, that even if he's not COVID positive, just by doing that and showing this indifference and, and you can't make a joke of this. And it, it calls into question freedom of speech and yeah, you're going to, oh, boo, boo, this is different, this is a national security problem, people are dying. I know that. I know that. But freedom of speech is that is just that. It's freedom of speech. You know, being allowed to say say what you want as long as you're not hurting somebody. Technically, you're not caught, I mean, you're not hurting anybody by, by such speech, you know. And I'm playing the devil's advocate, and I'm really riding the fence on this one. I know that for a fact. But at the same time, I hate censorship. I do. I hate this PC culture that we're in right now. I hate that certain things get banned, gets gets flagged immediately. Did you know that YouTube, if you even mention Corona, it flagged your your um your your videos for the longest time? So that means ours is going to be flagged. Oh no, that do, they're not doing it anymore. But I'm saying though, but oh. this is more of a podcast, more so than YouTube. YouTube. Oh is, okay. On the side, but YouTube was was taken down or flagging or blocking any any video that mentioned COVID nineteen or Corona for weeks. You know what I'm saying? This kind of censorship. For what reason? Why? It was, mm. You know, censorship. Facebook is taking down what they consider to be fake news or misleading information about COVID-19. Uh, you know, which of course is what? Conspiracy theories, you know, that it's a weaponized disease or that China did it or that it's not real or that this is this is the precursor to martial law. I get it. But this dissent, are we not a culture that allows you to speak your mind? No matter how stupid or ridiculous it is, you have to then rely upon the rationale of the common man, the common citizen, to understand, to separate satire from stupidity, from the irrelevant, from, from, from the comical, from the malicious. By you censoring these things, you're showing no faith in the common man. You know what I'm trying to say? To be able to say, hmm, that, that doesn't sound right. I think, that's, I think he's being satirical. Or that doesn't sound right. This is him being stupid. Or, God forbid, following up on something before you believe it or act on it. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but people are crazy. That's my point. So and then when people, we, and then when people censoring... listen to it, mm -hmm. that makes them even more crazier. The people it's that true. are hearing it's this. It's true. Because, because, I, because the, there was a theory that this toilet paper nonsense that we're going through, which, by the way, Toilet paper cannot protect you from COVID-19. No, I don't know why you're buying toilet paper for. 
because all the I, I heard because most of the toilet paper comes from China or something. And okay, that was debunked. Guess what? That what came from a from from a, a, a um, something that was posted on both 4chan and 2chan, and they started this joke, and it kind of spread and it spiraled out and it spiraled out. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can you not wipe your ass without toilet paper? Is that the only thing you can use to wipe your ass? No, get in the shower. Okay, get in the shower. Use a rag. Use a cloth. Wash the cloth. Why are we? You know, you know. I'm just saying, like, when I'm here, when I hear, I, I understand the disinfectant, sort of. I guess you know because, whatever. You should have some in your house anyway. Fine, I get it. But toilet paper? That if if that isn't an example of how mindlessly stupid we are, then nothing is. Because I'm telling you right now, you should be more concerned about getting food, getting clean supplies. Why? Why is toilet paper, and 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 then it kind of spilt over to to to, to, to um to paper towels and have, now you know, napkins. I have no paper towels. Correct. And now Why? I can't even get any. Why? What is that going to do for you? Well, I mean, I need paper towels because I use them all the time. I know, I know that, I know that, and that's what me too. Because I, I, you know, I went to to sa- um to to BJ's. Now BJ's is is for those who don't know BJ's is is a, is a type of Costco, you know, and it's a wholesale. And I went in there, and I went in there with my oldest son, and we we were gonna go to because my my mother um she she likes to 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 have an extra you know pallet of toilet paper or whatever. We kind of ran ran through it a little. What we ran through half of it. I said let me, she was due to come back before this this madness, and I said let me ref- let me you know buy it back for her. We went in there, and I even sent this this video to to Hall. She cracked up. It's me in an empty with an empty cart. And my son goes off and he says, I'm going to go find the end of the line, Dad. I'm looking around for different certain things. He texts me 15 minutes later and says, I can't find the end of the line. Well, I looked at my cart, pushed it away from me. I said, let's go. Meet me at the front. We're leaving. <laughs> that was it. We left with nothing. We didn't even get anything. There was no, a, there was no toilet paper or, or, or paper towels and, um, and no napkins. And here's a true story. I want to be very clear. Here's a true story. Okay. I went to Bravo. Bravo is a supermarket, and I said, "I'm just curious. I'm bored. I'm dressed in a in a in a three piece in a suit. I have a, a dress pants, dress shoes, dress shirt, and a tie. And I and I hustle into to Bravo, and I say, "Oh my God! I need I need I need potatoes right now. I need potatoes. So I grab two potatoes. I'm saying this out loud. I grab two potatoes in a rush, put them in my bag, and I hustle off to the meat. As I'm hustling off to the meat, I kind of peer over my side. Tell me why I saw people congregating around the potatoes." Tell me why I come to, to Bravo two days later, no damn potatoes. None. No, not just everything around there gone. Just the potatoes gone. I took a picture of it. I took a picture of it and it said, I said, I can't believe this. I said, y'all, I'm, I'm going to start the, the potato rush of 2020. Well, you know what? Let me, ha- let me tell you what happened to me. I was at Publix and I was going down one of the aisles and no oil. There was like one or two things, and I'm like, "Oh my god, do I need?" I went to go grab it. I'm like, "What am I? What am I doing?" Like in my head, I'm thinking, "Oh my god, I need oil. There's no more left." Mm-hmm. And I and I literally had to put it back. I'm like, "I don't, I don't need any." Mm-hmm. And it, it was very weird, mm-hmm. very weird that you automatically go, "Oh my god, there's no more. I gotta get at least one." Like, yeah, yeah, it was strange. Yeah, sorry, but... there's the AC is probably like 85 in here right now. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. I mean, ours come going on and off, and luckily for us, downstairs it's cooler than upstairs. So, because heat rises, so um, so when the AC comes on, it pushes the the hot air up. So I'm happy, but then it's gonna be boiling hot when I go upstairs. But Ugh. no, no, but I get you, and I just find it. I find this. I find the fact that people aren't thinking critically about this to to be disappointing. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, whether COVID is 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 legit or not, or whether it's just a really bad flu. I think that this is a, a a social experiment to see how how dumb is the world really. We you failed. Know? Oh, we, we failed. failed. No, we, we failed. We failed. A, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we're passing for them. They're like, yes, this is great. But in reality, I'm just like nobody's thinking critically. Nobody. Everybody. Most people are panicking. I've got people coming into my place of business. They, they might as well be wearing a hazmat suit. And I'm just like, if you feel that strongly about it, why are you leaving your house? Exactly. That's how I feel. If, if you're gonna come outside in gloves, goggles, and a, and a and a and a face mask, what are you doing outside then? And I have to be honest with you, because if you feel that strongly about it, then don't be outside. If you can't go outside and, and somebody coughs or sneezes, and you're gonna be like, oh, 
you know, or somebody gets too close to you, then what are you doing outside? Because it's an inherent risk. I get it if you have to be out there, but let's let's be real. This has been going on for weeks. Nobody has to be out there anymore, except for if you're going if you're going to, to work. And by then, you're in a, in a particular uh, field where you where you, it shouldn't be that big a deal for you because that's what you sign up for. So I'm not being uh, terse, and I'm not being insensitive, I'm not, and I'm not being condescending. But what I am saying though is is that listen, let's let's be reasonable here, okay? Yes, this is probably a pandemic. Yes, there's probably a lot a lot of cases. The death toll is a lot is a lot, is a significantly smaller than it could be, okay? Which is which we should we should say this. That's wonderful. We should we should we should cherish that. Um, but I don't know. I don't even know what I want to say because I'm so frustrated with the situation. I'm so frustrated that you know school is out, but I'm still going to work. I'm frustrated that some people have to you know force to stay home, but I'm still going to work. Uh, I'm frustrated that that you know people are and because I'm I, I my day job is in healthcare. It's it's. I'm dealing with with the irrational behaviors of people. Mm-hmm. I'm not just watching it on TV. I'm experiencing it day to day, you know. And people just don't understand. I had um, uh, somebody upset because there was no reg- there was no HIV testing, and I said, well, due to the concerns of the situation that's going on, we're, we're you know we're limiting reasons to be here, and unfortunately that's that's been suspended for the time being. You can seek services elsewhere. Well, nobody wants to help anybody. But th- th- this is not, this is not the place for this right now. We're, we're, there's something else that we're all dealing with. Why are you so concerned about a rapid HIV test now? I understand that somehow that's on, that's in your mind. That's that, that's your thing. And you said you do it every couple months. So okay, do you not realize that that people are walking around in, in, in face masks and goggles and, and that before you can come in, you have to be screened verbally. I'm pretty sure it's a different world we're in right now. You need to accept that. Things aren't going to be the same and you're not going to get the same services the way you want your services. This, this individual must be going to different locations um, expecting you know to be able to walk into McDonald's when, and sit down and eat some fries mm-hmm. and wondering what's going on. You can't go sit down in restaurants. You have to go, to, go through drive through You have to... Um, uh, curbside, they won't even drop it to your face anymore. They will drop it at your door. I mean, these are things that they're doing. Social distancing, which is the term that I found to be the most laughable term ever. You know what I'm saying? That is a real thing. Six feet difference, you know, from, from a, a distance from people. You know what I'm saying? Holly, you're making me very uncomfortable with that. What are you doing? I'm looking into ra- your eyes. Am I ranting trying too long? To. You're, trying, no? are you trying to, you're trying to find the COVID-19? It's not in my eyes. It's it's pretty much up 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 you know up in there. <laughs> I told you to record it. <laughs> I, I don't know why Listen, you didn't. Check it out. When I okay, so here's here's the deal. I um had to get tested for the COVID nineteen for reasons, and uh, the local the National Guard or military they took over one of our um uh, city parks, and there's a big sign that says keep your keep your windows rolled up, put your IDs on the dashboard, oh. and no. And no cell phone use uh, uh, from here on forth. You couldn't touch your cell phone at all. You couldn't touch your cell phone. And you had six checkpoints, six checkpoints, okay, where they looked at you. They made sure they made sure you were on the list. Then you drove up. Then they made sure that you were on the list and that your IDs matched what's on the list. Then they put an R on your on your on your window. Then you're waved in. They go through. They verify again your face, your name on the list. Then you move up, they verify your face, your name, your list, and then they give then they have the, the package, as you said, pre-printed for you. They put it on your windshield wiper. You go further up, somebody verifies that again. You go further up and around, they verify it one more time. You froze. You're frozen. I'm not frozen. I hear you. Wait. wait. Okay, go on. So wait. anyway. Okay. But, <laughs> so anyway, um, then you finally go and you get and you're up to this person. Who's in in like the sexiest hazmat suit ever? I'm talking about like Chernobyl, okay? You roll your window down just a little, talk to you, they roll it back up, then you're done. He says, When I tell you, you can you roll your windows all the way down, you will sit up straight, and I will swab you. And I'm like, okay, fine. Well, you're gonna swab my cheek or whatever. Well, no, I roll my window down. He said, All right, it's gonna go up your nose. And 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 I and I said, It's gonna what? And he said, You need to, you need to stay very still. And 
I never had such good posture in my life. When that big ass swab, because he, he didn't reach into my car, you know, he did, and, and it was long enough, right up my nose. And I, I felt it in my throat, but apparently it went all the way up to here. And it goes up to there, and then they, like if you're, like if you're getting earwax out of your ear. They're swabbing, yeah. It felt so weird. Do you feel like you were being violated? It probably lasted 15 seconds. It was the longest 15 seconds of my life. I, I was so, you know, you know that feeling when, when you touch the wrong way and you kind of freeze up to, and you become catatonic? That's <laughs> yes. what happened to me. I was, I was feeling so violated, I guess, by it that I just became, <laughs> I, I said, I froze up. And the guy, the how guy did was, you not, I, you out of all people, how did you not research this? How did you not know this? <laughs> well, you know, you see, I have this friend uh, that scheduled this for me, and I thought, you know, she would give me the heads up. She gave me the heads up about everything else, you know, <laughs> except what the exact what, what the test actually was. I knew I heard swab, so I thought it was gonna be saliva in your mouth, in your cheek, not brain cavity. I didn't know that. <laughs> Holy heck! When I left, I was coughing and sneezing. I, I must—they must have thought I had. Uh, COVID <laughs> as I was leaving, go you. Go, ah, ah. That's what I was doing. What is that? My phone. Oh, sorry to hear that. But uh, no, Hollis, I've been talking a lot. What do you think about COVID nineteen, the coronavirus, the the the, the virus, the, the the scare, the pandemonium, the lockdowns? What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking what you said before that it's something else. Something else is going on. I mean, I'm sure it's happening. I I, I agree. I I. I'm not saying that people aren't getting sick. I'm not saying people aren't dying. What I am saying, though, is that the media is hyping it up to a point, and it's covering something else. Something else, in my opinion. And you guys know me. I'm very controversial. I'm very. I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Blah 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 blah. Flat Earth. But what I'm saying, though, is that you know something feels wrong about this situation. Well, that one theory that I kept sending you was about how all these the Pope. The, all these famous actors, they're all getting arrested. For... That, yeah, that they're, that they're clearing out. This is a mass clearing out of toxic people in, in, in our government, in our society. And, and that's what this, the coronavirus is hiding. I wish that was true. But I, I don't believe that. I, if, if, if it's anything, there's, there's a coup d'etat happening where, where, where all the good guys are being weeded out. And that's who's actually being targeted and killed. Uh, and so, so, so the totalitarian government can, can, can come in. Because come on now, this is a dress rehearsal for the future. Martial law. You know what I'm saying? They want to see, well, if we lock down a country, will people rise up? Will they listen? Well, yes, they will, pretty much. Um, if we if we do a mandatory shutdown, how much of the population will do it? This this segment. Okay. When we do a, a uh, no, we do an optional shutdown, how many people will stay indoors? Okay, that's great. If we do it mandatory, how many people will stay indoors? Okay, great. And that percentage that don't abide by it, you're targeted. That's it, baby. We know that this percent of the population is gonna is gonna is gonna um uh, rebel, and we prepare for that. That's, and that's it. I think this is a dress rehearsal for something. But this worse. is the thing. I, you know, it's I, you know, I don't like going anywhere. I can stay indoors all day. No, I know. Just what you don't care. And I, and I, honestly, I would absolutely love the time off. I'm not joking. But I, I'd I, still have to come to your house, though. If they told me I could never go to your house, that would suck. That would be like. Oh, we, we would just we would just dig a tunnel. You know what I'm saying? I'm down. Dig, dig a tunnel. I'll dig a tunnel. You know. Okay. Dig a tunnel, do 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 do. Did did you hear the Baby Shark remix where they made it where they made it about washing your hands? Wash oh, your shit. hands, do 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 do. I heard it and I almost lost my mind. I said no. <laughs> so, but I mean, you personally though, as this stuff is going down, um, and you're dealing with with people, uh, you know, via phone. Oh. What 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 consensus are you getting from the atmosphere out there with this with this virus? They are panicking. Yes. As soon as they get a cough, they're like, uh, uh, they want to be tested. They get mad when you tell them they don't qualify. They yell at you and tell you, fine, I'm going to die. And then yeah. they, some of them wish you that wish you get it. Um, some of them are very nice. They're very understanding. They're like, I'm like, listen, as of right now, you don't qualify, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can't just have a cough and be perfectly healthy mm -hmm. and some of them are like oh i completely understand i just want to know because i think somewhere on the website it says see if you qualify right i think people are not some people are not reading that they're and and then they also they're calling their doctor hi this is such and such um i have a cough oh my gosh get tested yeah okay okay and it's yeah. like 
Yeah. And I'm like, you can't, you, you got to cough. Go, go get some cough medicine. I've had it for like five years. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> there's, and then we have the first responders mm-hmm. that call and they're like, listen, we've been in contact with something that is positive. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had people call me that are, my, my husband's positive. I have to get tested, but they're not sick. You know, they're not. Right. If you're not if you're not sick and you're hanging out with someone that's t- tested positive, they're not going to test you right away. You're not sick. You're you're going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Now, if you now a couple of days you start getting a fever and a cough and um, shortness of breath, you give us a call back. And then all first responders they're testing right now. So you know, I heard they're testing they're testing here, and then I've heard that they're testing at the Hard Rock. But I've heard, and I've only heard rumors because you know I don't go on the internet. I mean, I do go on the internet, but it's like Instagram, so that's like nothing. <laughs> but I don't listen to the news. I don't do any of that. So people are calling. They're like, um, I've heard that the Hard Rock does it, but they're only testing first responders. And then I heard somewhere in Miami, but they're charging $150 a test. That's, that's bad. I mean, people are going to pay it. Yeah, people, people are going to pay it. pay it. They're going to pay it. So... I don't, and, and, and the sad part about it though is that the the symptoms are so similar to even just a nasty cough, you know, to a nasty cold. You're talking about a low grade fever. You're talking about a, a cough. You're talking about runny nose. You're talking about sore throat. Uh, you're talking about shortness of breath, trouble breathing. You know, that can be anything, anytime. Mm-hmm. So you you presenting the most. You're basically saying look for these single most um, routine symptoms that anybody can have when they're sick. You people are all being like, "Oh my god, oh wait, I feel warm. That's it. I have one of the symptoms." And it, it's 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 just like when someone says they have lice, and all of a sudden you're like, you start itching. You're like, "Oh shit, I got it." You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Even better. So I'm so I'm I'm screening right uh, individuals, and I'm asking the same questions over and over again, and then all of a sudden, you know, my nose starts to run. And then, and, and then, and then the next day, the next day, I wake up and I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, but it disappears. I'm just like, no, you know what it it's is? Your it's, head. It's, it's in my head. It's in my head. And I'm just like, come on, Jay, you, you, you're better than this dog. What's up? And then, you know? on, unfortunately, now on the news, from what people are telling me, that one of the symptoms is loss of um, taste and smell. Yes. And and I think something like diarrhea, but the government is telling us what we are allowed to screen for. It's cough, fever, shortness of breath. So mm-hmm. when they call, I freaking, freaking out. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't taste. I can't smell. Um, all right. I mean, were you sucking dick all night? Like oh, what's going oh, on? Oh, too soon. Too soon. Too soon? So anyway, um, yeah. So they're watching the news they're pulling this information, but you know what the thing is also like, let's say somebody calls and I'm like, listen, I'm sorry. You don't qualify. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Oh, no problem. Oh, I need underlining problems. Oh, okay. Not a problem. Click call back. Hi, I have a cough. Um, exactly. and I have, diabetes. I have exactly, we, 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 these people are so, are so ridiculous. I mean, I would that... probably do it. I would probably, if I really thought I had it, I mean, I would probably do that too, but it then you're taking away a test. But if from, you thought you had, if you thought you had it, you would have, you'd be able to pass yeah, all the yes, screening questions. Yeah. No, right, exactly. Or, or you would have some of the symptoms. You would have to fake it. So, wh- why would you? Why would you feel like you need to be tested? Because in their head, have they the have it. There's people that call me like, I have it, I have it. I'm like, but you sound really healthy. You're so, able to. Yeah, people, you know, Jason. Good. People are calling me, and you could hear it. <sighs> They're breathing, and I'm starting. I'm like on the phone, like, I'm like <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I'm like trying to cover up. I'm like, all right the phone don't worry about it but you could tell that some of these people are sick and they're older and some of these people are calling nurses they're like i've been in contact with someone tested positive my boss just told me that i can't come back to work till i get tested and a lot of people they're taking care of elderly people Mm -hmm. and they're telling their i guess their children are like listen you need to go get tested and you cannot come back till you get tested well they call us and they don't have any symptoms I said, we can't test you. She's like, I can't go back to work. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And it sucks because they don't want these people around their elderly parents. But we can't test them just because their boss wants them to be tested. And they don't qualify as first responders because they're just nurses with 
or just somebody taking care of people. But then you have people like in the jail, they're calling saying they, there's people in jail that have it. There's this. And I mean, it's when you, the amount of people that are calling me, I'm like, like the walking dead. Everybody already has it. They have it. I have it. You have it. Everybody has it. Don't quote me. Don't, I, I'm a nobody. I don't no, know anything. Course, course I'm just not. saying. We here at the, at the <laughs> yeah, uh, podcast please. do not, uh, are not medical professionals. We do not condone. I'm uh, a complete idiot. I am an we, idiot. We, we do not condone or, 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 or refute or deny any of the claims. Uh, don't take what we say as anything more than just satire and fun. Just like somebody. And, and opinion. Like, you, don't, you don't know shit. I said, I don't. That's I don't right. know anything, bro. I don't know any, nothing. So. I actually called, and you know me, I'm I'm not, I don't like anybody. I can't stand people. But um, this guy had called a day, and you could tell he was, he. I think he came from Italy. <laughs> and he, he's like, when all this started happening, he's like, you know, I could have stayed there. I could have came home. He's like, I decided to come home with my family. So you could tell he was a little bit, not panicky, but he was like, and he wasn't feeling good. Mm-hmm. So, um as soon as I went to go schedule him, shut it down. No more appointments. I'm like, oh, yes. Because I'm like, wait a minute. My screen went blank. Hold on. He's like, oh, my goodness. And sure enough, we got shot across screen. We're full to capacity. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Do you know? Because you don't have to keep taking calls. Mm-hmm. I found that patient. And I did call him back. And I scheduled him. when the oh, appointment- <laughs> For the year. And it's only March. I'm good now. No more. You are good. You are good. You are good. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. So final thoughts on COVID-19. Is it going to get worse, Halls? Who do you think? It's going to get, get worse. It's going to get, it's going, unfortunately, how, it's going to get worse. How bad do you think it's going to get with? We're going to be on lockdown. Oh. We're going to be on lockdown. Oh, wow. Like lockdown as in I can stay home? Um, I don't know. How is it in Italy? Nobody can, is. Yeah, only... they're, they're, yeah they're locked, locked, they're locked, locked down. So there's and... no, but there's no hospitals. There's none of that open. I don't know about that. All I know is that is that the streets are empty and it's, and you and I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know there has not people walking around the streets where you can't you know go. Um, New I York City is soon going to be like that lock lockdown. Right. Yep. And unfortunately, yep. all the spring breakers in Florida mm-hmm. passed it to everybody. There's one guy I talked to on the phone today. He was a police officer. Mm-hmm. He said one of his stupid and this was up in like Delray. People are coming from hours away to take this test. There's people coming from Lake Worth. Somebody's coming down to take the test. Um, I guess they don't have it up there. I don't know. So this one police officer told me he was like, yeah, the, I was like, yeah, those stupid kids on the beach. He's like, he's like, yeah. He goes, you know what happened when you guys closed down your beach? They all came up to ours. Mm-hmm. But it shut down ours. He goes, this one guy, I don't know. Maybe it's his friend, a friend, whatever. He said he went home and he got his whole family. His whole family has it now. And that's just one person. <laughs> that's one sorry. person. I'm sorry. So, they, they didn't help. And you know what? They're probably going to be fine. All those kids are going to be fine. But the parents and maybe the grandparents are not going to be cool. Uh, but, well, my mom, but my mommy said I can come visit you if you test negative. Well, yes. I should be getting my results back in several days. And then... If you test positive, are you going to... I know you're going to tell me because I'm going to kill you. I test positive, I'm throwing the most ultimate party ever. No, I'm just joking. But no, because I really just want 14 days off. I won't even lie. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get anybody else sick. I have kids. I don't want them to get them sick. But... Big Daddy could use 14 days disability payoff. I'm just being honest with you. He needs a break from 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 the day job. I need an extended break from the day job to reevaluate where, where, have, where, where have, I went wrong. With. No, nope, not at all. And but if, there's if, so many people that have it. What is that? What it's called? Asymptomatic that you asymptomatic, have no. Asymptomatic. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, if I did, it would have it would have been from one expo one potential exposure that I wasn't able to confirm, and I, I don't think so. I really don't. So I mean, I, you, what would you do if you had it? Would you little? You would have to keep the boys. That's it. They're stuck. They'd be stuck with me. They already been stuck with me. They've been with me for two weeks, three weeks now. So they'd be stuck with me anyway. But um, uh, what was that twitch? You twitched a little bit. <laughs> but what I'd Ew. immediately do is I'd come over and I and I'd give you a big kiss. Then I'd tell you what our results were. I'm down. So then, so then guess what? You have to come it, back it, with it, me. Any anything for views, bro? Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. But the thing is but, uh, that I have, I have to work. It doesn't matter if I'm positive or not. I still gotta work. I don't get hazardous true. pay. Remember? That is true. Cause you you know that's that's the downside of working from home. You lucky lucky bitch. All right. Well, that's it for our Corona special, friends with issues. Um, I'd like to say we 
we're gonna be back to normal because I mean, just I just happened to text uh, Halls and say, "Listen, let's just podcast," and she actually said yes. And I was like, "Oh, I'm washing dishes. Let me put on a shirt." So I didn't. I literally did not expect her to answer at all. Or if she did answer, she'd tell me to go suck a dick. So, so but text me then. I don't know because I was on my computer and I was just like, "I'm doing Geek Bros. I'm doing Last of the Nice Guys." I'm like, "This is a shame. Where's friends with issues?" You know. And I, so I just said, you know, what are you doing? Let's podcast. And I, you know, I'm glad you answered. So I want to thank you personally, Halls, for uh, for getting on here and spending, giving us all your time and your thoughts on the coronavirus as we did a Corona special. I'm Vibe. And I'm Halls. And this is the Friends with Issues Coronavirus special. I would like to again, again, I'd like to hope that we'll do more episodes. It's totally up to Halls. If you want us to do more episodes consistently, you need to email Friends with Issues or that, Friends with Issues at gmail.com. F R F R I E N D Z W I T H I S S U E Z at gmail.com. Would you stop it so we can finish this episode, Holly? I'm not I, doing it. It's Travis. Hi, He's Travis. Bye, Travis. Bye, Travis. Bye, Travis. Bye, Travis. Oh, he, looks, he looks like a ghost. He's all, you know, know. under lit. All right. Well, so that's it. And remember, listen to everything. But believe in what you can do. Got something to say? Email friendswithissues at gmail.com. This is an audio production of Vibe Revelation Studios, the cure for your common day. VibeRevStudios.com.